What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new series. So a lot of people have been asking me for concise, shortened versions of my player guides and training guides and just kind of giving the, the main points per each player that we're looking at, right? So all these videos will have a long range or a long form kind of video where we talk in detail and we go in and we show clips and we do all that sort of stuff and we do a review of the player. Um, but these videos are going to be shortened down that you can watch them very, very quickly, get all the information that you need, the vital information that you need to make up your mind about the player, taking into consideration, obviously, your play style, your skill level, what kind of team you're playing, what kind of way you want to play, if you're playing through the middle, if you're playing out wide, if you're playing quick counter, if you're playing possession game, all standard players. So anyone can buy these players. The information is going to stay relevant for the next couple of months whenever you do decide to, to watch this. If you are a newcomer or if you are a veteran that is deciding to branch out and try different players, we are starting with Kylian Mbappe, right? I think he is the best standard version player in the game. Pedri is probably a close second in my opinion, but I think Mbappe for ease of use, you know, having 25 levels to train him up, unwavering form, as a striker, as a goal poacher, I do think he is probably the easiest player to use. He is a million. Obviously, he's going to cost a million GP, which is a, which is a lot of money, man. It is a lot of money, especially if you're starting out with the game. Um, you know, if you are a newcomer, and he also is missing one or two player skills that I think would have turned him into like just completely broken. Um, such as first time or first such as one touch pass. But we are going to go over to eFootball DB and look at the two different versions of him, right? So the first version we have of him here is going to be putting 7 into shooting, 12 into dribbling, 5 into dexterity, and 5 into lower body, right? We also need to put 2 into whatever play style, or 3 into whatever play style that we're using. For this purposes of this video, we are using quick counter, but you can also use long ball counter or possession game with Mbappe, and that will put you into the 89 or 90 range, which is enough for team play style. But don't neglect it if you are a newcomer, I have videos up on team play style. It's very important to have really high players in most positions, unless you have got like a top class manager like Klopp or Pep or somebody like that playing all the same team play style right but this version of Mbappe is very very easy to use you've 90 speed 90 acceleration you've also got 85 offensive awareness and then the ball control dribbling and tight possession which v2.5 v2.4 is kind of changed on in the last couple of uh, weeks you know with v2.4 the tight possession is a very key stat now especially with the fact that Mbappe trained up like this doesn't have 80 plus balance 80 plus balance is a must if you are playing a lot of like intricate passes and trying to get off the shoulder of the defender because now at the moment the defending is so overpowered so easy to defend it's so easy to set your team up that the only way you're going to really score with Mbappe I think is kind of running in you know turning the defender one two touches and stuff like that especially playing him through the middle right so 86 finishing is more than enough I genuinely think this is a really good version of him even though he's only a 94 overall the second version we have of him is more kind of I think takes a little bit more getting used to he's not as easy to pick up and run and gun with him he's got 90 offensive awareness so he's going to make a lot of runs for you um with the offensive awareness this high and he also has higher balance he's got 95 acceleration 91 dribbling 86 type possession and 87 ball control right 87 finishing as well so you do need to kind of in my opinion you need to be able to kind of use him in a specific way. Now, with this version of him here to get the 96, and this is what confuses people sometimes, we have not trained up his team play style. So if you're wondering sometimes when you come up and you're saying, oh, I can't get this guy as a 96, um, chances are you haven't trained him like to give him the max overall, such as the auto allocation or whatever, or else on top of that, you haven't... Um, trained up his team play style which as i said at the start of the video don't neglect that so we're going to stick possession game on him goes to 90 so there are two versions of mbappe i genuinely think that he's probably the best standard player that you could buy and save up for there are different versions of him but this series is strictly for playing with free to play players and standard players so that whenever you pick up the game and stumble upon this video you can you know have a different version of uh, Mbappe with, with whatever that you want to play I would say that the second version of Mbappe here that we looked at the 96 overall rated I would say he's more suited for possession based players uh, or sorry he's more suited for quick counter players and this guy's more suited for possession based players that likes to spray an extra pass around the place right because you've got that tight possession and dribbling which you will notice a difference slightly more you play with Mbappe but that is it for me lads I'm trying to keep this video short and sweet so you can get all the necessary information and that's it for me lads we'll be back and drop any player that you want to see you know in this series um below and we will get onto it straight away and keep it short and sweet peace